Good morning, my friends. I'm Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day on this terrific Tuesday. It uh, looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today, and I'm excited about the temperatures warming up. And I hope that your home uh, fared well throughout these very cold temperatures. Hope that you fared well. And I hope you're ready for the new year as we approach uh, in just a few days, uh, 2023. And I'm going to tell you, the best way that you could uh, celebrate this new year is by making a decision right now that you're going to read the Bible through in 2023. Sonia and I have been doing this now for probably 15 years uh, every year we read the Bible through, we use a different translation, we go chronologically, we go straight from Genesis to Revelation, we just we mix it up some, and uh, I want to tell you, it is a true blessing. And the reason that's so important is because of what we're looking at in 2 Timothy chapter 3. Yesterday we talked about how Paul reminded young Timothy that he had known the, the scriptures from uh, his childhood, those scriptures, and, and keep in mind, he's talking about the Old Testament scriptures, that were able to make him wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. And I think what he's talking about there is when you know the Old Testament, you, you see the prophecies that are there. You see God's plan unfolding from the Garden of Eden until uh, the birth, death, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And it all falls into place because of that. It makes us wise in understanding that Jesus is the fulfillment of God's perfect plan. But then we, we just skimmed over this yesterday. So I want to pick up here in, in uh, chapter 3, verse 16. Paul says, all scripture, again, Old Testament is what he's talking about because at this point in time, there was no New Testament. Some of Paul's letters had been written. Well, probably all of Paul's letters had been written except this one. Um, but they were not accepted as scripture at this point. That comes later in history. But the all scripture, he's talking about his Old Testament, is given by inspiration of God. And I love that word inspiration because it literally reads that it is God breathed. He breathed it from his spirit into the hearts and minds of, of men who penned the words uh, and, and left these for us so that we could uh, know how to come into relationship with God. So it says all scripture is given by the, the uh, God breathing it into us. And he says it is profitable for doctrine. Now, let, let's talk about that for just a minute. Doctrine are those teachings that are so very important for us as believers, things that we need to know. Uh, the doctrine of salvation, uh, the, doctor, the, the doctrine of the church, the doctrine of, of the Trinity. Those are important teachings that we need to understand. And where we get these from is from the scripture. Now listen, I know that we, we rely on teachers, pastors to, to share these things and to teach us what they mean, but this is the source of all doctrine. And you need to compare the teachings that you're being given with what is in here. If it doesn't match up, then those teachings are not true doctrine. So all scriptures given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine for reproof. Listen, I don't know about you, but I'm not always right. And I need to be corrected at times. I need for God to yank me back and say, hey, you're headed in the wrong direction. You said the wrong thing. You're doing the wrong thing. You need to change your behavior. That's what it's talking about. The scripture is able to show us these things, to, to remind us of what it means to live godly lives. For correction, remember, get us going back in the right path. For instruction in righteousness. And this is so very important because we especially in our 21st century Christian culture here in America, we've lost sight of what it means to live holy lives, to be righteous as God is righteous. We, we've got this idea that as long as we've trusted Jesus and we've been baptized and we can live our lives any way we want to, we can talk any way we want to, we can do anything we want to, but that's not the case. The scripture tells us how to live righteous lives, and that's so very important for us as believers. And he says that the scripture is given that the man of God, woman of God, may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. And that's this idea of perfection in the, the sight of God. Mature, complete, finished. Have everything that we need to be the kind of Christian men and Christian women that God has, has called us to be so that we can do the good work that God has called us to. We don't earn our salvation by doing good works. But we do good works because of our salvation, because Jesus Christ gives to us a heart that wants to serve, that wants to minister, that wants to do good things. And all of this comes 
through the inspiration, the God breathing of scripture to the hearts and the minds of those who wrote it, but also into our hearts and our minds. That's why we have to read the scripture. That's why we have to study the scripture. That's why we have to pray the scripture. So I hope you'll think about that this week. Make a commitment that starting January 1st, you're going to begin reading through the Bible and keep it going all year long. Sonia and I will finish up tomorrow and we will be reading the last chapter of Revelation and the last part of the book of Malachi. God is so good. Be blessed today.